I'd like to give all glory and praise and honor unto the Most High. And today, what I want to talk about is, um, you know, punishment in the eyes of men. You know, because, um, you know, sometimes, you know, people get punished. You know, but it is, uh, it's in the eyes of men, not in the eyes of, of the Most High. You know, and, um, you know, punishment in the eyes of men is nothing compared to, you know, when the Most High dishes out his punishment, man. And, you know, today, uh, you know, I just want to read a little bit. Uh, uh, I, I want to say I'll read and I'm kind of revisiting Wisdom of Solomon Chapter 3. And, um, you know, we're going to talk about... Uh, you know, these people that was punished in the uh, in the sight of men. You know. Because uh, you know, the things that we're going through right now, you know, it's a punishment in the in the eyes of men. You know, not in the eyes of the most high because you know, it, for example, if we was to take our case to court and you had righteous judges in there, you know, we would come out on top and that's why, you know, these programs exist in you know it's to pervert the uh, the ways of judgment that's why these secret societies exist it's to pervert the ways of judgment you know what i mean um men govern them themselves by their law their own law but not the laws of the most high you know what i mean and when you break their law you know you're punishing that in, in the sight of men not in the sight of the most high we're going to get into um you know people you know in these wisdom of solomon chapter three we'll get into people that were Punished in the sight of men. We're going to go in depth with that. So this is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3. I'm going to start at verse 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. What does that mean? The souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, man. This is talking about the souls of the righteous, I mean, that are, that, that already died. You mean? This is not talking about the souls of the righteous that's living on the earth still. Mm -hmm. So when they die... When you, and, 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 and you know you're deemed righteous by the Most High. You know I me, mean? no torment is gonna touch you in that afterlife, man. You know what I mean, so this is what it's talking about, man. The souls of the righteous when they pass, you know I mean, and, and the Most High has them, and no, nothing, nothing is gonna touch them. Verse two: In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery, man. Oh man, what's that mean? In the sight of the unwise, the sight of the unwise. Who's the unwise? The unwise is the foolish, man. You know what I mean? The foolish, those that don't know the Most High, those that follow doctrines of men, those that wanted the praises of men and not the praises of the Most High. I mean, they, they, you know, they were unwise. So in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die and their parts is taken for misery. Their parts is taken for misery. What does that mean? They went out of this world in a horrible way, man. You know what I mean? They died in a horrible way. That's what happened to the Messiah. That's what happened to some of these prophets. You know what I mean? That's what happened to some of these disciples, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? They killed these guys. They tortured them. You know, they did all manner of wicked to them, man. And in the sight of these people that was doing it, you know, it looked like, you mean, they, they suffered real bad, man. They, they, you mean, their departure was taken for misery. You mean, they looked at them and they said, oh, my goodness, man. Look, I mean, look, look at what, look at, look at these guys. I mean, look at what they're going through. Look at what we did to them, man. I mean, so let's go. Keep going. Verse 3. And they're going from us to be utter destruction. But they are in peace. You see that? What does that mean? Like I said, they destroyed them, man. They went out of this world in utter destruction, man. I mean, but now they are in peace. You know I mean? They're in peace, like it says in verse one. You know I mean? Oh man, they in peace now, cause the Most High has them in his hand. In his hand. You know I mean? So let's just say, you know what I mean? For example, if somebody. You know I mean if they, if if somebody um gave you that judgment, let's say they poured a bunch of gasoline on you, you know what I mean, light you on fire, and you went out of the world that way, man. As soon as you draw that final breath, man, hey, you're at peace. You know I mean you rested with the Most High, but it's not it's not the same for somebody that died wicked. Let me, let me so if you watch my, my the video when, uh, that I made, they shall wander for seven days and grieve in seven ways. It tells you what happens to these people after they die, man. You know I mean so you know what I mean so these people that. You know, took him out, man. I mean, the unwise that took him out, you know. They seen that they went out of the world in a, in a, in a, in a horrible way. But, hey, but they at peace now. They at rest. It's not the same for somebody that leaves the world and when they're wicked. You know, they in Abraham's bosom now. I mean, verse 4. 
For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet their hope is full of immortality, man. So you see, that was just a punishment, you know, in, in, in the sight of men. I mean, I mean, but that's all it was, man. You know, but 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 their hope is in immortality. They kept that faith, man. You know what I mean? They they under they, they understood the truth. They understood the scriptures, man. I mean, you know, that was just a punishment in the sight of men. Let's keep going. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For God proved them and found them worthy for himself, man. A little chastisement, man. That little, I mean, that's a little chastisement, man. You mean, I mean, what, what, what does the scripture say life on earth is? Life on earth is but a vapor, man. You know what I mean? You mean, life on earth is but a vapor, man. We don't even live, live as long as those biblical men did back, back in, um, you know, in the beginning of times, man. And their lives is short compared to the, um, you know, in, in, in the eyes of the Most High, man. You know? It's a little chastisement. I mean, but when those that passed, that, you know, that didn't do the will of the Most High, you know what I mean, that sided with the wicked, what, what happens? I mean, hey, they, they, hey, torment is waiting for them on the other side, man. I mean, they, they enjoyed the luxuries here. You know I mean, they, you know I mean, they saw, they saw the, the, um, the righteous go out of the earth, you know I mean, in, in, in a miserable way, you know, they, 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 got, they got chastised on this earth, but in the eyes of the Most High, it was just a little chastisement, and, they, and they, they're going to be greatly rewarded for it, man. Greatly rewarded, because the Most High proved them, man. I mean, oh, let's keep going, man. Verse 6, as gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as burnt offering. Yeah, gold in the furnace, man. Like Ecclesiasticus 2.5, I believe it says, gold is tried in the fire and, and, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, man. So the Most High tried us, man. Yeah. yeah, man, and he proved us worthy, man. Like it says, amen. I mean, so man, all that stuff that we that they that those those men went through of old, that was like a burnt. It said, see right here, it says it's like a burnt offering to him. It pleased them, man. Verse seven, and and in the time of visit of their visitation, they shall shine, and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble, man. Yeah, their time of visitation, man. So we're gonna be like angels when I mean when, when, when that day of visitation come, man. I mean, run to and fro, man. I mean, shining bright, man. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever, man. That's what's to come, man. I mean, the dominion over the nations, over the people, man. I mean, oh man, these. I mean, these guys were prudent, man. That's why they endured all these things, you know. In that in that time, prudent. They were wise. Let's keep going. Nine. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. Those men that went through all that, the women that went through all that, that persecution, and all, I mean, they went out of the world that horrible way, you mean? I mean, those disciples, those prophets, you mean? They understood the truth. That's why they endured, man. You mean? You mean? They put their trust in the Most High and they understood, man. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints. And he hath care for his elect, man. You know I mean? You know I mean, so the Most High is going to take care of his elect, man. You know I mean? Those that put their trust in him. Mm -hmm. that's, why was, that's why they went through it, I mean? Because they understood what was going on, man. I mean, they didn't reject the truth. You know I mean? When you reject the truth, you mean? You side, you, you side with the doctrines of men. You know I mean? You, know I mean? you, you reject the truth. You know, you become your own, your own God, you know, you make your own laws, you know, and you dish out punishment that you seem worthy, not as the most I seem worthy, you seem worthy, man, and those that's doing, I mean, that's in the truth, hey, they're your enemy now, so let's keep going. Uh, verse 10, but the, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, man. What does that mean? The same things that they came up in their hearts to do to you is going to be done to them. I mean, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord, man. Exactly. Yeah. They, they, like I said, I mean, and it's all good because, you know, according to the scriptures, they're not supposed to agree with you, what you say. You know what I mean? Not, you know what I mean? They're not supposed to be. Everybody ain't gonna be listening to you and agreeing with what you're saying, man. I mean, 
they neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord to follow, you mean, you know, the doctrines of men and dish out punishment that, you mean, in the eyes of men, not in the eyes of the Most High, man. Oh, man, I'm going to stop right there for a second, you know? So I just want to, I want to go back to, um, you know, the first five verses, man, you know, and, and we see these first five verses, man. You know, it talks about the punishment that they receive, man. And, you know, as I'm, as I'm reading this, you know, you could also go back and connect this to Hebrews chapter 11, man. Um, you know, and I'm going to read a couple of verses from that. You know, you know the, the things that they went through right here. You know, about them being chastised. You mean, you know, the things that they went through, you know, how they went out of this earth in utter destruction. You know, it talks about this in Hebrews 11 too. You could connect, I mean, Wizard of Solomon chapter three to Hebrews 11, man. Let's 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 look at that. Hebrews 11 35 through 39. Women received their dead race to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection, man. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings. Yea, moreover, the bonds of imprisonment. Cruel mockings, right? Trial of cruel mockings. What does that mean? You mean? It's like, it's like what we going through, man. I mean, uh, as um, you know, target individuals, man. Come on. I mean, this is a trial of cruel mockings, man. I mean, and, and scourgings. People get imprisoned over this, man. I mean, they were stoned. They were sawn asunder. They were tempted. They were slain with the sword, man. They warned about in sheepskins, sheepskins and goatskins being destitute, afflicted, and tormented, man. Same thing going on back then, same thing going on today, except we didn't, hey, we not stoning, you know, people, you know what I mean? You know, we, and people ain't battling with swords and stuff like that no more, but it's the same thing going on. We just using modern day weapons, man. They still tormenting people out here, you know what I mean? But they doing it with, with you know, with, with more advanced technology, man. Of whom the world was not worthy. The, look at that, man. Of whom the world was not worthy. So the world was not worthy of these people that endured these things, man. Because a lot of these people, they came to do the will of the Most High. You know I mean? You know what I mean? He wasn't worthy of uh, 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 Yeshua HaMashiach. He wasn't worthy of that. You know what I mean? He wasn't worthy of, of, of those, 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 those disciples and those prophets, man. You know what I mean? These, these guys went out of the world in a, in a horrible way, man. The, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in the dens of caves of the earth, man. There ain't no way for the righteous people to be living, man. You know what I mean? Wandering about in, in dens and caves. But this is what they had to go through. You know I mean? While others, you know I mean? They, 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 you know I mean? They lived lofty. You know I mean? You know? But don't envy the wicked, man. Let's keep going. And all these having obtained a good report through faith, man, received not the promise. They, they, look, they had a good report, I mean, I mean, in the kingdom. Through, they kept their faith and they went out of the world in a wicked way. They endured that, that I mean, those, those trials of cruel mockings for their entire lives, man, until they died. I mean, they got it locked up. They got in prisons, man. I mean, I mean, they got tortured. They got afflicted. But they obtained a good report reports man now other people I mean like I said like it says in um you know in the wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 let's go back and look at that uh verse 2 in the sight of the unwise they seem to die and the departure is taken for misery you see that you mean the sight of, in the sight of the unwise the ungodly you mean but they obtained a good report man so like you know when you out here and you, you know these people are looking at you and they you know what I mean, they may laugh, they may, you know what I mean, think it's funny. You know, they may see you going through all these torments and the affliction. You know I mean, they're, you know, they're unwise, man. You know? But, you know, in the back of your head, just remember, man, you obtaining a good report, man. You know what I mean? For endurement, for being long-suffering, for not giving up when you could quit. Every day is presented to you that you could quit. You know what I mean? The Most High is looking at that, man. And then that's what happened with these people, man. They obtained a good report, even though in the eyes of men, and you I mean they had a bad report. <laughs> you know? Oh man. And the punishment in the eyes of men, man. 
you know, punishment in the eyes of men. Yeah, and I'm going to segue a little bit, you know. And I want to say, you know, those that dish out punishment in the eyes of men, you know, you got to be careful because, um, you know, that stuff comes back on you, man. And, you know, we've seen a perfect example of that was with King David and what he did to Uriah. You know, that, that judgment came back upon his house, man. And, and it was terrible, man. And, you know, like we said, David was a man after the most high's heart, man. But, you know, he dished out a, um, you know, a carnal punishment in his eyes, you know what I mean? You know, because he wanted to have his way. And you've seen what happened, you know, to his house when he did that, man. So we're going to play a little clip from um, Yash Kara real quick. And, and, and you know, the, the same thing that he talked about was, you know, similar to what happened to David, man. You know what I mean? Because judgment is against the two thirds. All this shit is bloodline. Now, if you go back to his bloodline, you got to go careful. I ain't trying to do all that. I'm saying somebody, whether it be the uncle, whether it be you know, the grandpa, the grandma, the auntie, somebody in that bloodline have done some corrupt shit of Satanism and it's getting back to him. That's the way the shit go. How you think the most high will let a dope dealer have children? You know, like in essence, a dope dealer makes, you know, go have a wife and have three, four kids. And it's 15, 18, 20 beautiful children, right? But that daddy done killed so many people because people done fucked off on his drugs and ain't paid back their debt. But they don't know that. So now they're 35, 40 in life. And the most high has it down the line. He, this is how he does it. That daddy's still alive. He in his 60s now. But he made sure that he stayed alive so his kids could die before him and they died tragically. The daughter is raped. The son was beheaded. And, and such a, why would this happen to this? This is a good man. But what you didn't know, when that man was in his late 20s and 30s, he killed a numerous amount of people for his drug money. You understand? So the bloodline is real. So the most high ain't going to get you right now. He going to wait till you up in age so you proud of your children. And when you think they get ready to do good, he have somebody come out and kill them. And that kills you. You dying slowly. That's, re that's recompensing. So you see what he described, man, I mean, was a judgment that came back upon the house of somebody that did all manner of wickedness, you know what I mean, you know, in the early stages. Man. And that, that's, that's what happened to David, man. That, that's similar to what happened to David like later, later on in his years you know what I mean you see that um, you know what I mean uh, I want to get the names mixed up what Ammon what Ammon did to his sister and then you had Absalom that came and killed Ammon then you had Absalom that rose up again and tried to take the throne then he ended up getting killed then you had Solomon that killed one of his brothers you know what I mean you know it was, it was just you know just turmoil you know, on, on that house, man, and, and I believe that was, that was that was a punishment punishment for what you know what I mean. You know, David did to Uriah. You know, you know, you know, it continued. You know, so um, yeah, man, we see that that um, that judgment comes back. You know, and. You know, don't worry about punishment in the eyes of men, man. Because it's just, a, it's just a little chastisement, man. You know, you know. Like I said, it's being prudent, being about being prudent. I mean, looking towards the future, man. I mean, you know, because I, I mean, I could guarantee you, you know, what I mean, if some of these guys could see their future and, and what holds in the afterlife, they would drop everything they're doing right now and be like, "Look, I'm gonna go through this torment. I mean, I'm gonna go through this affliction. I mean, but you know." They're not, they, 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 they're not prudent. They can't see that. Um, I mean, you know, so they're going to continue. But, those, but those, those people that went through all those things, they were prudent, man. And the most I proved them, man. And he's, and he's proving you and testing you too, man. So with that being said, I'd like to give all praise and honor to the most high, man. And um, hopefully this was edifying, man.